Hello, my name is Sebastian and today I will show you my newest application called Tab Opener. With this application you can open files with two primary actions and you can execute commands and take notes. It's a GPL application, so it's open source. And it has two primary actions, so you can assign a viewing and an editing action to each file type. You can execute commands, keep track of recent and popular files and take notes. Opening files. When you open a file, you can do it with these two buttons. One is for viewing and one is for editing. So, for example, I selected a bare HTML file here or template and I click open, then it will open in the browser. And if I click the same file and click the second button, it will open an editor with the same file. This can be conveniently configured in the preferences section. There is the primary action and there is a secondary action. The file navigator can also be used to open a terminal or a traditional file browser so I can navigate to a path and then I can open a normal file browser. As you may have noticed the application disappears each time I open a file. This is intentional it should not clutter the alt tab list. It should go out of your way when you are not actively using it. So any time you, uh, you select an, a file and execute it or open it, it will go away. These are the presets that you can configure in this section. Basically bookmarks where you can navigate the files quickly. In this lower section you have a list of recently used files and you have a list of most popular files. Um, so if you select a file here and you click open it will also open. And you also have the second literal action here. You can also select a file and forward the path. So if you set the file here, file here and forward the path, then it will be shown there. And you can copy the file to the clipboard. You can also execute commands. Commands are executed in the path that you are currently in. So if I type an S, list command, you will see that it is a uh, executed in this path. I could also um, type the current path command and you will see it's in the current path. The application also stores the recent used commands and the last and then the most uh, most used commands. So it works same as with the files and it will also store the path that they were executed in. So you won't get any weird behavior if you execute a command in a totally different path all of a sudden. In the upper right corner there is a simple note widget where it's just can type in text there and it's just a little notepad. The application is an open source application and you can view the source code and edit it in GitHub. Thanks for listening.